Maseches Bovekame, Daf Beis Amud Beis. However, we are in the very, very, very end of Beis Amud Aleph still today, and we definitely have to recap a little bit. Uh, I want to relate to a question that somebody asked. Uh, two people asked the question, and I want to relate and give one answer for both questions. We said yesterday that um, the Mishnah, it had, the Gemara said, that had the Mishnah say only the words, Ani Mitzah I found it, one would have thought that Ani Mitzah means that really Mitzah means I acquired it by looking at it. Because when people say, when people in their own slang, in their own language, people say, I found, they mean to say, I see. And if the next sentence would have been, oh, that's his, or it's half his, that would mean that seeing is buying, is acquiring halachically, it's a Kenyan, and that would be a terrible mistake. And then at the end, afterwards we rejected it. And that's why we have to say, well, before that, and that's why we have to say that Anima Tzahasiya has to then be succeeded by another line, Kula Shali, which means I actually picked it up. I actually did an extra Kenyan of, Koine, that's why it's mine, because it is, there's Hagba over there. With the, beautiful. Without Kula Shri, one would have thought that seeing is acquiring. You got it very well. Very good. Now, two questions. One question was asked by Baruch. <clears throat> Baruch asked a good question. The question was, why is it so urgent for us to know it right now? Let us wait until another Mishnah that mentioned the words Reisia, yeah, or Mitzasia, then we could have, you know, we, we, we would have dealt with that mistake. Why do we have to speak about it now? Another question asked by the Rishonim, and that question is, if you remember, what we are holding now in the Sugya, actually, is that there is no extra word, Ani, Mitzasia, and Kula Shali. It's not two extra words in the same case. There are two different cases. One case is Ani Mitzasia, one case, number one, that's Reuben against Shimon. Another case, Levi against Victor. There's another case with what? With not Metzasia. I bought it, and we both bought it, and each one claims that he was a real buyer. They both bought it from Levi, and the question is, who's the real buyer? If so, yeah, at the end of the day, then we don't have the extra word. We still have one case, which has Ani Metzasia, and then right away we say, oh, really? You Metzasia? Let's split it. Let's make a Shvua. No, so we can go back to the same old mistake. According to the Maskana of the Gemara, if you follow the line, according to the Maskana, we don't have an extra word after Nimetzasiya. So the Ramban, the Rajbo, the Esknu, so what happened to my mistake? I would still make the said mistake. Nimetzasiya alone does the trick. In my language, like a child, I would say Nimetzasiya means I saw it. Your question and the question of the Rishon are both, both answered actually with one line. Not one line, <laughs> with one answer. And I'm quoting in Rajbo and Ramban. The Ashba and the Ramban say, here, this, this kind of Amudim, you can't do them without Iyun. Even if you want to, you have to do Iyun. Today, we're going to have Emirat Hashem, very nice, a lot of long distance depth, which is fun, fun kind of depth. Say the Ashba and the Ramban, no. There's another Mishnah right around the corner. The next Mishnah says as follows. And the Mishnah says, if somebody rides on an animal, and he says to his friend, hey, 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 look, I saw, hey, what's his name? I saw a Metzia. Look, I see that beautiful gold watch on the floor, please pick it up for me. Listen to this. If the messenger picked it up for him who saw it, then the guy who saw it is coined because somebody picked it up for him. That very clearly tells me that seeing alone is not a Kenyan, right? I saw it and because someone was Magbia for me, that's why I'm coined. That's like saying very clear, pretty much black and white, that seeing is not Kenyan. Ah, that changes the entire picture. I'll save you all the Mahalach of the Rashba and the Ramban because it's not such, we're not in such an Eon Shir. Basically, the, the, they say as follows, the Rashba says, nobody really thought that Halacha Lamaisa Re'iya is something in Bikoina. Yeah, Mechavrusa endorsed it, he had more Bikiyas, it's very schwer to say. Elamai, the Havamin was that our Mishnah argues on the next Mishnah. Maybe our Mishnah thinks, only our Mishnah thinks, that seeing is buying, that seeing is acquiring, and maybe our Mishnah disagrees with the next one. Hello, there are Mechlekesim and the Mishnahis. Toysis wants to reconcile them. I'm on purpose not saying Toysis. I don't believe in confusing too many shittas here. You can see the Toysis for yourself in your free time. Toysis, the Ramaskal, Be'er Be'al Mekono. 
It's the third Tosfos from the end. It's not for now, right now. Oh, so now the whole question and answer, ooh, they're shrunk. We never really thought Riyah is Kenyan. And therefore that answers the question, Baruch. That's the whole word. We're not asking in general what's Allah. We think that had we only said, yeah, Animetzaasiyah, which what we think means I saw, and right away say, oh yeah, you saw it? Oh really? Oh, you saw it? So yeah, now it's half yours, yeah? I would have thought that that's what our Mishnah thinks, not necessarily halacha. I would say, ah, oh, there are two opinions. Mimela also, when the Gemara rejected the tariff, it's not the end of the world, because our mistake would have been so terrible. I'll give you a Moshe. Let's say somebody uh, just became from, I don't know, two months ago became from, Baruch Hashem, and he doesn't know, Bichlal, what is halacha about uh, making tea on Shabbos? There's no clue whatsoever. Yeah, can I make tea on Shabbos? He's British, so it's Pikuch Nefesh, right? Can't have fresh tea on Shabbos, so eh, what, what will you do, right? You don't know bichlal, bichlal, what's the halacha? Then, of course, the big mechloi, Kassim, don't ask me about it. But the maister, I know. So the maister, yeah, don't mislead him because he has no clue whatsoever, yeah? But uh, two years later, he knows, uh, he knows it's a very big mechloi, he knows that, I don't know, 10 rabbonim forbid it in Eretz Israel. He wants to know what's the opinion of one rov, yeah? There is one rov in his neighborhood who's more American style, who's more mechel, he wants to know what's his opinion, yeah? So whichever mistake he makes about this particular rov is not as, as mag, the magnitude is not as much as not knowing the Allah in general. Get me what I'm saying? That's what's going on over here. The shadow was regarding our Mishnah and not the general question. And therefore everything, both question and answer, take like a, a smaller scale. That's Bigadol. You can look up the Rosh and on yourselves if you want. Okay. Now let's go, let's go, let's go, let's continue. So now... Well, which question? Your question? Yeah. Your question was, why does our Mishnah have to tell me extra words after kula shali? Wait until another Mishnah says the word mitzia and explain it there. And the answer no, that our question is about our Mishnah. Our Mishnah didn't want us to think that our Mishnah thinks that seeing is buying. Not the general opinion. Yeah, you have 10 Rabbonim who forbid the tea. One Rav wants you to explain what he thinks. So you can't say another Rav. Each Mishnah is like another opinion. So there's no point of much one Mishnah explaining the other. That defeats all purpose, all discussion. Baiter. Oh, so let us go to the very, very last line of Beis Amud Aleph. And what did we say at the end? We got it loud and clear. And that's going to be the Maschono. Reisha b'metzia. Seifa b'mekach u'memka. Meaning what? Our Mishnah spoke about two cases. It's a summary for those who were not here yesterday also. The first case is two people claim, I found it and I'm the only one who found it. I picked it up. Nobody here is talking about viewing or seeing or watching. I picked it up and that Schwindler over here, he grabbed it from me after or tried to. Yeah, he's grabbing half of it after I'm the legal owner and I picked it up, yeah? And the other one, of course, says the same. And who knows who's right? They both look like really nice guys. And then the Sefer says what? Mecha Chumemka. is a little bit more tricky. I'll already tell you now the general picture before the particular picture of Mecha Chumemka. And the story is like this. Two people, basically, listen to me now and you'll save yourself a lot of work afterwards. Two people, Reuven and of course Shimon, who else? They were nagging Levi, both of them. It's important. And that's time giving an example. They were both involved in trying to buy Levi's, what? Levi's beautiful talis. Levi has this amazing, beautiful second hand. It's his own beautiful silk scarf, let's say. Reuben and Shimon were, you know, had their eyes on it for a long time. And Reuben and Shimon are both bargaining. Both of them would really like to buy his beautiful silk scarf, yeah, from, I don't know, names of fancy shops, wherever, from Macy's, I don't know where, yeah, and one. And now each one wants to buy. And you know what? Both of them gave him money. Levi is an honest guy. But one of them gave him money as a prepaid, prepayment. Why well, I'm saying prepayment? In halacha, as a deposit, okay? I'm not trying to talk about the English, now I'm talking about the halacha. And that is, yeah, the deposit was to show I'm the owner, I have my foot there, I already gave you the cash, the thousand shekels that this uh, scarf uh, uh, is worth. And so did Shimon. However, the real... Levi only wants to sell it to, let we know the truth behind the scenes, he only wants to sell it to Reuven. Reuven is the one that wants to sell it to, for whichever reason, even though the price is the same, both Reuven and Shimon given the same price, he likes Reuven better, or maybe Reuven came first. 
So Reuven, the Meister, gave him the money. Then Shimon gave him the money. Shimon, without Levi's will, pushed the money by his table. Shimon gave Levi, Shimon is why he's the bad guy in the story. Yeah. Shimon gave him the money. And the Rajma says that both of them are good. They made the mistake. We'll talk about it later. Shimon gave money to also a thousand shekel to Levi. And then Reuven, now none of them is yet koine. Why is it nobody's yet koine? Because we know in Halacha, in Kiddushin, man is not koine metatoli. Only kaki and avodi, very nice. Everybody here very knowledgeable, both Hashem. And what money is not, you know, money can't buy you love, money can't buy you metatoli. It cannot buy you mobile things, the eyes of the Obonon, the Shlakish Rabirchanon, Kiddushin, stories. The mice you can buy. So, what is the money doing here? It's a deposit. It's to show the one who paid first will be the one that I like more, I want to sell more to. And therefore, let's say it's Ruven. When Ruven finally comes and picks up the silk, the silk scarf, and that does finalize this Kenyan, because Hagba is for sure Kenyan. Look, this is a silk, it's not a phone, it's a silk scarf. He picked up the silk scarf, then came Shimon and grabbed it, and Shimon says, You liar. I'm the one who gave the money. You gave money. Maybe they didn't even know about each other giving money. Shimon is not necessarily such a chakran. Could be Levi feels lo naim, and Shimon is either lying or believes that since he gave the money, he has the right. Yeah, they're like competing the race for the silk scarf. And then Shimon, after Reuven got, uh, grabbed, Shimon said, no, your hagba is nothing. You're not the one he had made the agreement with. And he was Magbia. Where's Levi? At that moment, Levi was in the bathroom, or he flew to Hawaii. Levi was not around in the actual time of Agba. Now, Levi does have um, um, 2,000 shekels by him, 1,000 from 1,000 from Shimon. No, Levi is not a liar. There is showing himself, did the double sale. Levi is also a bit confused, and Levi knows that he will have to return 1,000 shekels to one of them. He's not sure what went on during the time of Agba. He heard commotion from the other side, and then they ran to Beisdin. We'll discuss the Moicher later, please, not now. Lamaisa, that's the story. Begadol, there I gave you more or less, Baruch Hashem, accurate picture of the Maisa. Reuben and Shimon, both of them claim that they're the real buyer of the sales scarf. We both gave money, we both this, and I did the Agba. No, I did the Agba first, or your Agba is in Delhi, you're not supposed to do the Agba, right? Whatever, yeah. Uh, you, you're not even in the story. You didn't really give the real deposit. You're lying, you're lying. Because, sir, we don't know who's the one who actually is the buyer of the stock. Again, no questions on this, because I'll explain more about that process, but Lamaisa just accepted for now that the mission has two cases. One, case number one, either or, two possible cases, two alternative cases. One of them is, I found it, or no, I found it first. And the second one is, I bought it from Levi, and the other says, no, I bought it from Levi. Levi Srat as we say, he wanted me to be the buyer, not you, okay? Now, before we go into the details, betzricha, the last word in line is betzricha. Why does the Mishnah find it necessary to tell me both cases again, again, and again, and again? The Mishnah is not a news website. The Mishnah is not a politician, Khalila. is not them telling me more, more words, more examples to be verbose. Why does the Mishnah pick two examples? Answers the Gemara, Beis Amud, Beis. Answers the Gemara. What did we say yesterday, Rabbi? We said that before they split the talis into two, each one has to make something that begins with a shin, and that's shvua. Each one has to make a shvua for reasons we'll see later. Begadol, shvua is what? Shvua is like another barrier you have to go through before you actually get to use your tfisa rights over the talis. Yeah, you want to get access to your money in the in the in the account, let's say. You have to have the code first. There's like a, a stage to verify that you're the one and Shavua would deter a liar. That's the idea. Although both of them are holding it and they have some kind of Chazok and Ansadi, we're still concerned about liars over here, Reuven or Shimon. And therefore to deter the liar, we make it, can you swear it's yours? Many people would lie, but many of those liars, big percentage of them would not actually swear, open our Kodesh, open Sefer Torah, Three stern looking Dayonim. The world shook when Hashem says, Anoichi en loyal lecha, yeah, loyal Yeah, then people would be deterred from what? Swearing the Sheker. Now, the question is, why do you have to mention two cases? Listen to this. Dita and Metzia. Had the mission only told me Metzia and not told me what? The, make, the sale, the purchase. Ava Amina, I would have thought, listen, 
let's go into people's, let's go into the mind of a guy who is the average liar. He's a white liar, average liar. He's not a criminal with the records and you know, three stars in his face, yeah? What is he? What would be the regular Josh Mo liar? How low would he stoop? How low would he sink? He have a mini metzia. Had he only told me metzia, Ava, who the Ramu Rabbonin Shvua lay? Rabbonin made the Shvua on the person who is the thief of a metzia. You know why? Rabbonin Ramu, they posed a Shvua on him, imposed a Shvua on him, Mishum de Moiri, because this guy is Moire Heter. This guy's Yetzar Hara is Moire. What's Moire? Allows him, Moire Heter, allows him to do the wrong thing. He basically cleans his conscience very easily with his lie. The Omar, he says to himself, am I a thief? I'm a good thief. I'm an okay thief. Why? Chavroi, my friend, love me, Dichosobo. My friend, he found a gold watch. He found a beautiful silver scarf. Says Rashi, love me, Dichosobo. You can see the first Rashi. He says, love me, Dichosobo. The second Rashi says, Enamavsid klum. My friend did not lose anything. Easy come. Bechinam ba'aloi, ve'af beloi toirach. He spent, you know how many dollars he spent on that 3,000 scarf? You know how much? Zero. And you know how much work he did? Zero. Zero leg work of shopping. Ask any woman, shopping is a big job. He didn't have to shop, he didn't have to. He came to him so easily. No, no. So I did, I'm not really stealing because he didn't invest in it. Nothing says the Ganav, and many Ganovim would think that way, even if they're nice from people. Azil, it this. I will go and I'll catch also. I also want to have good luck like him. I, of course, he's wrong. Why is he wrong? Because <laughs> the master guy did a ball first. <laughs> the one he did a ball first, it's his. I don't care. Yeah, the Kenyan was done of the first guy, Reuben, obviously. Yeah, he did a ball, and therefore it's his. The fact if whether he spent 3,000 or not doesn't make a difference. Of course, he's the owner. The, the first guy. Of course, the second guy is a liar. No, the first guy picked it up. We're portraying a case. What, what we're trying to. to no, he was half care and he was in Tokyo. What are you talking about? Uh, the first guy uh, found a Mitsia on uh, the floor. The first guy went walked out down the street in Tokyo. Everybody going, not even Adim, okay? And what? He picked up a beautiful scarf. It's five thousand dollars. Every time it goes up and up, if you notice, yeah. And he picked it up just like that. Yeah, it's the scarf of Chupakuki Yamahuma, and he doesn't have to give it to him. And the other guy, Shima, says, excuse me. You know, so what if it's halachically yours? He didn't spend anything on it. I'll grab, and what will I do? The itpalik ba'ade, and he's even a Talmud Chacham, this liar. He knows the Mishnah. It's palik, I'll get half. <laughs> I know what Beis Din are going to say. I'll get half the scarf. So this guy, for this, these kind of people say, Shimon, would you swear it's yours? <laughs> he's going to back up. So on that guy who established a shvua, he's an average liar. I will make a chumem but in the story of the Mecca Chumemka, the second case, the Truven actually worked hard and he walked all over town and again and again, like the woman, in order to find the, 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 the most beautiful specific scarf from one shop to another shop. So he worked hard by doing leg work or by negotiating, buying his work. The Lekal Marhachi, then the other guy cannot say that. He cannot quiet his conscience by saying, ah, he got it anyways. He didn't get it anyways. He worked hard on it, right? By the way, I'm only mentioning hard work and not money, because Rashi says that the money they will get back. Remember, Levi, the seller, of course, is an honest guy in the pitch in the story, and he knows that whoever is not the real buyer, he will give him back the money. So there's no money loss, but Lamaisa, there's loss of, of work, yeah? He spent the money, he spent uh, uh, effort and, and work time to find the scarf. So such a thing, people wouldn't stoop that low. Mimele Emaloi. Maybe you do, maybe in the case of what? In case of, because people don't tend to lie about getting someone else's stuff that he bought, that he acquired, and therefore the chances that he's a liar are really smaller. So what really happened? Maybe the boss bought it. Maybe the boss bought it from Levi. And maybe the chances of liars being involved here in the case of Ani, Ani bought it and I bought it are smaller. So maybe you don't have to have that barrier that verification, that authentication of Shvua, because any of people don't tend to lie that much. That's what I would have thought. Tom the Mishnah says, no, I'm sorry to tell you, says the Mishnah. Many people would lie. Oh, yes, they would. They would lie about what? About buying 
And even if you know that the other guy bought first, he would still say, I'm the real buyer because he really wants it. And therefore, yes, he does have to take Shavua to avoid, yeah, for us to verify there's no lie. Continues the Gemara. Now, the flip side. Okay. So only tell me Mecha Chumemta. Eitana Mecha Chumemta. Now, well, let's say, had the Mishnah only have told me the case of Mecha Chumemta, that one guy says, I bought it. The other one says, I bought it. Who the Ram Rabbonon Shavua lay? Ava Amina, the Den Rabbonon wanted to verify he's not a liar through imposing a Shavua. Why? Mishum de Moir Omar Dafka by purchase, he can have more of a Hiroas Heter. And that's a very good score as well. Maybe when it comes to I purchase versus I purchase, maybe after that there are more, there are more liars who can quiet down the conscience. Why? He says like this, my friend gave money now to Levi for the scarf. Dano, Dami Kayahivna also, as I told you, both of them gave money. He gave money, I also invested good money in the scarf. Uh, I, he was first, so what? I also gave money. Hey, I happen to need it now more than him. My daughter is getting married tonight, and I want to impress everybody with this beautiful steel, steel scarf, the mechutonim, and what, and I want to look nice. I need it more than him. It's childish, but people think that way, in an egocentric way. I'll take it now. The Chavoy, what's going to be my poor friend? What did he buy? It? He bought that silk scarf in a fancy shop in Tokyo. He'll buy another one. Let him do some more legwork, and instead of buying the one from Levi, he'll buy another scarf from Yehuda, from Papa Chuchi. He'll buy it. It's on sale. Yeah, you don't find it, you know, like, like you know, like women's shops. You didn't find it in one branch of, uh, of uh, wherever, of, of, of uh, Leibovitch. She'll buy in another branch of Leibovitch. Yeah? So they, if they don't have it here, they'll have it in another place in Bitar. So Mimela, it's, it's on sale. It's an item on sale. So right now I need it. He'll get his money back eventually. Everything will be okay. I'll get it now. He'll buy another one. It's on sale. Aval Metzia, <laughs> if you found a scarf, you found a gold watch for free, <laughs> you can't say he's going to find another one. Even uh, the biggest uh, tipish doesn't think the way. The Lekal Hachi, nobody in his right mind, he has to be seriously sick to think that. Nobody would think, yeah, that he'll just find another gold chain, another gold watch for free. Just in five minutes, obviously not. Yeah, aim alone. So maybe when it comes to finding people of more rachmanus than the other one and feel worse by taking the metzia, because metzia is a metzia, as we say. Yeah, it's one in a million. Therefore, tzricha. Therefore, the Mishnah has to tell me going to the source of the of the average ramai, the average chakra, and to say both cases. In both cases of either the the, the dispute is about what is about a found object. Or the dispute is about a purchased object. Lemaise, in both cases, people, the regular nice guy who sits next to you in shul, you'll be surprised, may have a moira heter, like good, conscious, you know, quite conscious about buying it, <laughs> buying it, lying about it, yeah? And you'll go to Beisdin, and because he's an okay guy, a shvua would deter him, a shvua would stop him. And in both cases, before you get the half-half because of your chotoko, but Nan Sahadi, we said, um, uh, uh, wait a minute, before you split it, guys, before you get the scissors, will you swear? Now open, 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 separator, it's yours. Ah, if they both swear, then they'll both, they'll still both get half, half. How can we make them swear? That will be the discussion later. Yeah, that they're not even necessarily lying, by the way, but that's a discussion for later. Yes, um, it's actually an okay place to ask questions. Yes. Now we're getting into the story of Mr. Mekachumem. Are you sure that Mekachumemka really you have to what do this entire business split, swear and split? I have a much easier solution. By the way, I did a little bit of spoon feeding before. The Gemara at this stage thinks that only one guy gave the money to Levi, the seller, okay? We thought one guy bought it, yeah? The other one, Tom grabbed it, you know, he went out of the shop, you know, with a nice silk scarf and a nice uh, Marks and Spencer bag, and the other one grabbed it, that's what we thought, yeah? And so one guy paid. If so, Frank the Gemara, the Lechzi, let us see, let us check, Zuzi, Miman, Nokat, let's go back to Mr. Levi. Levi did not go to Acapulco like I'd like to say. Levi is still there, smiling away to the customers, or maybe selling his own goods in his house, which is more like the case over here. Ask Levi, who gave you the money? Before we make them take Shvua, let's just be Mevarel. 
Now the question is, you may ask, Levi, as far as I know, is one person. Since when can one person give edus like two people, right? In other words, you're saying, ask Levi, oh, ask the shopkeeper or the, the seller, or the home seller, ask him what? Ask him, it was a proof and a shimon gave you money. I'm asking, I'm asking a question now. He's only one guy. Why is he like to aid him? Says the Gemara in Kiddushin around the Ayn Beis and Gimel, says the Gemara like this. We saw a lot in, in, in uh, Baba Basra that sometimes, actually many times, one person has the monus as if he was to aid him. For example, a midwife on the first day of birth, yeah, the midwife can say who's the b'chor out of two children. Twins were born. The midwife, one woman, can say, I know that uh, this one, the, the redhead one, that he is the b'chor and not the other one, and she's believed. And that's not coming in for big money. You know why? Because in uh, 40 years' time, there'll be Yoresh, he'll two million, he's only one million. And, yeah, so she'll be the one testifying one woman because it's her job. Because that's her job, she's responsible. The Torah gave, Torah gave her Ki'ilu, the din of Edus, she's in charge. And the mother, until he's seven days old, she can say with the B'chor. And then the father, the father for the rest of his life, the father, one person is even a relative, he can be made that this is the B'chor and not the other one. But let's say they're born, I don't know how they're born, how many uh, minutes apart or how many uh, days apart, uh, years apart. Now, no, 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 no. Comes the Gemara over there and says, there's a special Olocho, a Moicher, a person in charge of a sale can tell you, he can, he may be able to tell you who's the one who bought the stuff from him. He's like to aid him. He has a koch of to aid him to say, I know the Reuven bought and not Shimon. Okay, says the Gemara, look up Kiddushin, use the magic power of a moicher to be like to aid him and leave us alone <laughs> with Shvua and Chalukah. Tell us, who did he get the money from, from Reuven or from Shimon? And that will do the trick. Answers the Gemara, Loi, that would have been very good, Sricha, but in our case, we do need to say what we say, and asking Mr. Levi would not be a solution. The Nokat Mitovayu, he got money from both. There was a lot of nagging around. I may want to read the Rashi uh, later, yeah? The Nokat Zuzu Mitovayu, basically, he actually got the money from both parties. The scarf is worth how much? 6,000 shekels, yeah? He got 6,000 from both. One of them gave him, had midaite. One of them gave him and he wanted it. It was a nice sale and he's really hoping to what? Really sell it to Reuven who gave him a down payment, a deposit of 6,000 before the Agbo. Hmm. One of them is Baal Koche. And one of them gave it to him the money against his will. One of them was turned face. Why are you coming to my shop? Uh, well, uh, but yeah, he pushed the money on the table, pushed the money in the cashier, pushed the money by him and says, yeah, I buy it. By the way, don't be uh, deterred by the whole story of a forced sale because it's not yet a sale, right? Giving money is not yet a sale, but he wants to like have he wants to have foot through, to have his foot through the door. The one who get the second one, but it's really too late. And then okay, loyodano miumidaite umiubal koche. Here's the whole story, nice and slow. Loyodano, there are two versions here. Loyodano says Rashi loyodinan. We don't know. We don't know, which means what? Which means like this. According to Rashi, the story is as follows. We don't know who's the one who gave, who really gave the money, Merotzon, and we're happy, to, Levi was happy to sell to, and which one was this, uh, you know, aggressive guy who's trying to push all the time and push the money. Explains Rashi as follows. I would read Rashi inside. The Lech Zuzis Miman No Cut. Yeah? This Rashi is important. Look at Rashi. You know, I'll, say it, I'll say Rashi outside and they'll read it inside. Basically, the crux of the matter is like this. Says Rashi. That magic neemonus of a moicher to say I sold to him and not to him only applies as long as what? As long as the item is still there. When it's on your mind, when it's on your head, you have this item that both Reuben and Shimon were driving you crazy about. And now as long as it's there, so even though one guy, one guy gave you the money in the middle of base, not the middle, a little bit above the middle of base, base. when Levi the seller still has a silk scarf that he already wants to get rid of, because the boat robbed him not, Rami Adaite, it's on his mind. And if one guy gave it to him, and one guy against his will, he still remembers very well that the guy with a, I don't know, with a yellow shirt was a nice one. And the guy with a blue tie was a not nice one. Yeah. 
the one I don't want to sell. He would remember it's still on his mind. Once the item left his shop and was mugba by one guy and grabbed illegally by the other, yeah? At that happy moment, we don't believe him anymore. He lost his neemonus. He lost his neemonus already to say who bought it, who didn't buy it. Why? Because once it's out of his mind, in, 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 out of his responsibility, we say you don't have any more that very, very special din of what? Of being like two Adim. It's a very special din. The midwife, after the birth, yeah, that's it. She finished giving, uh, uh, delivering the baby of Shprint Abela. You know, Shari Tzedek, one after the other, it's the factory, you know. Now comes uh, Racheli. She forgot about the other one. That's it. Her Christ is now on this one, not the other one. She remembers in general. This guy too. Had there been only one guy giving money, says Rashi, like we said, he would remember. One gave money, one didn't. You remember who's the one with the cash. But since there were two people who gave you cash, and I think there's also some kind of shoichad over here, the bad guy also gave you money, and the good guy gave you money. They both gave money, right? So that's confusing to begin with. And he had dealings with both of them with willing dealing. Plus now the actual item of oh, Hashem, it's out of your mind. You're going to have your coffee now. And now go to your learning, go to your playing. One minute, please. You may be like an Eid Echod, but you lost the magic of being like to aid him. Therefore, that's the case over here. Listen to me. There are two factors that confuse the Moicher and make him, make him like a regular guy. He's a good guy, regular Eid Echod, but he's not to aid him. To be to aid him, you have to be super duper. Why did he lose his crown? A, there were two people who gave money that's confusing to begin with. If there's 6,000 from here, 6,000 from there, and I still what? And I still have the scarf in me, with me. I still have to remember who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. I have to know who to give the scarf to. Then yes, once there are two monies, two uh, sets of money, plus the scarf is gone into the hands of someone, maybe he remembers, but maybe he forgot. We don't say that he's so, so good at remembering who was the guy who really he did struck the deal with and he was a guy who didn't actually strike the deal with because it was very close to striking the deal with both, yeah? Mimeli doesn't have that nemonus. Says Rashi, the gear says not, lo yoda no, It's not that the person tells us, I don't know who gave what. Because even if he says, I know, once the scarf is out of his house, lo none, says Rashi. I don't think we have time to read Rashi inside, although I recommend it, but not right now. We don't believe him anymore. He doesn't have that power being like to aid him. He's like a regular guy. Regular guy is one aid. Toysis claims against Rashi that even one aid would be able to help one party against the other. We're not discussing Toysis right now. We will if we have time. What I'd like to do from now on is the Eon part to leave for the end. If we have time at the end of the Omu, then I would like, yes, to read with you a bit of Rashi and Toysis here. But basically, that's what's going on here. The person is not Neman like to aid him. Because A, two people gave monies, one good, one not good. And also the item is out of his mind. Let's say a fundraiser, you know, take it from me. You, you got an envelope from Ruben, an envelope from Shimon. You don't remember who, who gave what. As long as you didn't write a receipt or a thank you letter, you have to remember. Or you write down, you remember, this is the blue envelope, that's white envelope. Once you wrote the receipts, let's say, you don't remember, unless you wrote the names, you don't remember who gave what. That's it, it's in the list. It's already given to them. It's, it's out of the system. Out of the system, you don't remember it as much, okay? And you remember it like an Eidech, or not like Shnei Eidim. So we may have Shnei Eidim, we don't have. We don't have a solution. So what do we do? Mm. We tell them to be Nishba and split it. Who was first? I'm sorry, today is not your day. <laughs> You're next, yes? You're asking, Boch is asking, why don't we say that really he does remember the seller, even though the scarf left his shop, now he has to return 6,000 shekels to someone. He should be able to know which one. So it's still in his mind. The answer is no. You know why? Because he knows he has to return 6,000 shekels to someone. He doesn't care who. In our case, by the way, which means I'll explain to you exactly what I mean. And this is something I should have told you before, actually. You know what's going to happen after they split it, yeah? And they swore, they did the swear and split. You know, I like it. Swear and split, yeah? They did the swear and then they split it. What are they going to go now to Levi? Each one will go to Levi, and each one will get 3,000. That's exactly what's going to happen. I bought from you six, and I only got three at the end. It's not no one's fault, not Levi and not Ruben and not Shimon. It is maybe one of them's fault, but not Levi. Levi will have to give each one three. So Levi knows he has to get rid of 6,000 anyways. He doesn't care who to. That's already Basin's decision. Let's say Basin would decide for Ruben and for Shimon. 
for let's say not in our Mishnah, somebody brought Adim, somebody brought uh, other Rayas, yeah, then what? Then he, whichever base it's up to Basin to decide already. He knows there's a dispute. It's up to Basin to decide. It's not in his head. Of course, Basin will decide who belongs, who does the scarf belongs to. Whoever Basin will decide the scarf, yes, belongs or doesn't belong. So whoever it doesn't belong, Levi would give him the money. But Levi is now like the cashier of Basin. What? No, or three and three, either six to one guy, or in our or in our Mishnah three. You know, I meant what I said. In our Mishnah, each one gets half the scarf, right? So each one will get from Levi three, half of what they gave, because they only got half the scarf. That's the first rush. So the mice is right now, once it's in the hands of Bezdin, for cares. He knows, ah, there was a whole court that two Mishu going fighting. Let Bezdin decide. I know I have to give the money to someone. He's an honest guy. He has a 6,000 in the, in the drawer over there. Who Bezdin will decide? Maybe it's a case of three quarters and a quarter. Look in the end. I'll give four to him and two to him. Bechula, bechula. It's not really in his mind. Yes. Yes. Or maybe give it every day to someone else. Either scissors or... Uh... Why? Right. Yeah. So and six has to return, right? It has to be six to return. Yeah. In half, yeah, three and three. One's got nine and one's got six. Why one is three and one is three? Because no, she was paid six. Mappy top. The scarf is worth six thousand. Yeah. Each one got but at the end of the day thousand. three, and he got three. No, six he deserves the the the, the sell. The seller bought, sold That's the right. six, yeah. and the six extra will give half to him and half to him because each one got half the scarf. So That's simple. Yeah, Shimon has got this value for six thousand, right? Right. And, and the other six, really six thousand, right. nine and three. No, nine and three? Yes. Six divided to two is three. I feel so good about myself yeah, so for the first time six? in my life. So, they so get he, three and three in the scarf. He's paid six. Okay, and well, he's paid six. Right. right. So he's got 12. Yeah. So I have to get... Now, now no, there's really a lot of fun stuff still to see in this Omud. Let, you know, review it and you'll see that it's true. Now the Gemara is going to give us three Lema Masnisin Deloy, which means the Gemara is now going to tell us, suggest that our Mishnah does not follow the opinion of one Moira, then the other, then the other. Says the Gemara, Lema Masnisin, let us say that our Mishnah, Deloy Ke Benanas. Let us assume that our Mishnah does not follow the opinion of Ben Nanas. There's a Tana called Ben Nanas. What did Ben Nanas say? Listen to this. The E Benanas, if you want to tell us that our Mishnah follows Benanas, and by the way, what did our Mishnah say? Let me just refresh your memory. Our Mishnah said that both people say, each one says the scarf is completely mine, the other one is a liar, and I'm absolutely 100% sure it's mine, mine, and as the three years old says, only mine. Each one says that, right? Good. Now, is there for sure a liar here? Yes. Either it's completely yours or completely yours. Okay, that's assumption at least now. And now we make them both make shvua. So those dayonim, who are very aware of the Isser of, which Isser of Lifne Iver. What is Lifne Iver? You're not allowed to make another Jew sin. And then what? And they sit there quietly and they say, Ruben, make a Shvua in front of a Sefer Torah that, that is complete, uh, not completely yours. Okay, is it at least, well, I, I have at least half of it. And also Shimon, make a Shvua that at least, and both make Shvua. Well, somebody's lying. And you make somebody, at least one of them, be nishba l'shekar, right? So not everyone likes it. It's actually mechloitis tanoim. Says the Mishnah. Ha'omar, said, we're quoting a Bryce, I'm sorry. We quote a Bryce of Bananas, who says in such a case, Ketzad elu elu boin shav. How can both parties, how can you make both parties who fully, fully contradict each other, how can you make them both nishba shvuat shav? Let me tell you the story. The story is as follows. You know, I'll read it inside in Rashi. Some people want to have more Rashi inside. Deloy Keben Nanas. It's a Rashi. It's the last Rashi in the narrow lines. Deloy Keben Nanas. Which means, what's the story by Chenveni Al Pinkosoi? Elu Beilu Boin Lebezin Al Minas Mishova. Echad Mem Lashav. Okay, now start the story. Amar Bal Bais Boni. A man told the Makolid guy, a person told the shopkeeper who sells food, ten libni chitim bedinar, give my son chita worth dinar, v'alai l'shalem, yeah, let's say he says, I'm sending my son to the makolet, today it can be very easy by phone, or by WhatsApp, he told him what, listen, my son is on, my son who's a godol, who's 15, 16, 20, he's on the way to your makolet, and give him chitim, and I'll pay, 
I'll pay later, give him the food and I'll pay later. Oi, a better case, which is more nugea to this case, lepoyalim besela mois shanichayev beschorom. Oh, let's say like this. The guy, the man rented, hired people to do some work. He hired some boys to paint his house. And he told them, you know what? Instead of paying you cash, I'll pay you by giving you food. Go to the pizza store, go to the ice cream parlor, go to the Makolet with a lot of the Khatifim over there. And what? Whatever I owe you, get from the Makolet, and I'll pay the Makolet guy, okay? I'll get the pizza guy, he'll give you pizzas, and I'll pay him for the pizzas. Your salary would be the yummiest pizza you ever had. That's a nice agreement. Dalai Litten Sela. He told the shopkeeper, give my workers the pizzas, the things, and I will pay. So he owes who? He owes them the salary. He's going to pay the salary through the pizzas bought, gotten from the pizza store owner, and he will give the pizza store owner the money. That was supposed to be the beautiful agreement if everything works right. But you know what happened? Boom. Surprisingly, unbelievably, things went sour. Who Oimer Nasati? All of a sudden, he gets funny phone calls, and everyone's shouting at Mr. Reuven, the main guy, the protagonist of the story. The pizza store owner says, listen, I gave you guys pizzas. I want my 500 shekels now. The boys, the poem says, no, he never gave us pizza. You pay us. Don't play games. We want cash now. Your pizza agreement didn't work. We went to his store. He didn't know who, who we are at all. He didn't give us. The pizza store owners say, no, they're lying. You gave them pizza and therefore pay me. So each one is now shouting at who? Mr. Poor Balabais. The, the boys want 500 workers and pizza store guy also wants 500. So what there, somebody is for sure, for sure, not nice to say, the old Yidalach, somebody is lying through his teeth and they're both uh, uh, sure about it. The Shneim Toibin is Balabais, poor thing. They both sue him. They both take him to Beisdin, the Balabais. Shneim Nishboin Benotlin Balabais. Wow. Says Tanakama, each one takes the Shvua and then take from Balabais. Usually Shvua is something you do to keep the money, except for five cases, that's one of them. The Balabais doesn't know what went on there. He was drinking coffee in his ass while the pizza store uh, scandal took on. It, from now on, it's called the pizza store scandal, you know? So then what? The mice that each one swears, even though we know that somebody is lying, still, according to Tanakama, we don't care. You lied, it's your, your problem. But the Maisa, once he was nishba, both sides, each one was nishba. It's as if one put in the code in the computer, they went over the hurdle of Shvua, and they will get the 500 from Baal Bais, both of them. That's what Tanakama says. We look at each one separately. If he says Shvua, we believe him. He says Shvua, we believe him. Each one alone made the Shvua. Shvua, we are forced to believe. That's what Tanakama says. Now we come to the punchline. Omar ben I'm still in Russian. Omar Benanas. How can you bring both to Shavuot Shav? It's a Sheker. By the way, I don't know if it says Shav and not Sheker. That's another question. How can you set such a system? You're dying with a long beard. You are religious. You know about Lif Neiver. How can you create such a Matzav where you have a for sure liar here and you sit there nicely listening to two Shavuot contradictory completely? Shavuot! And one of them at least is a lie. So don't establish it that way. Don't go down that lane. Poor man, poor man. They both take from him 500 shekels without shvua. Wow. Why? Says Bananas, I would not accept such a situation. I'm looking at the global picture, not each one alone. The two and two together. Somebody here is lying. And yeah, you have two, yeah? One, one, two sweets. One is one is poison, why not? You're not going to have both, right? And therefore here, somebody is lying and, you, and you're perpetuating. You should meet with a shekel. And says, so here too, wait a second. So I assume, says the Mishnah, the Gemara, our Mishnah is very similar. Each one says, it's all mine. The other one says, it's all mine. Somebody here is lying. Who is the one who grabbed it first? Either Reuben or Shimon. And yet the Mishnah says, yeah, you be Nishba. That's nice. Uh -huh. Now you be Nishba. What's going on here? So I'm okay with Tanakama, who looked at each one separately and who still adhered to the concept of Shvua. And if he lied, it's his problem. I want to have that process of basing of Shvua. But according to Bananas, looked at the global picture and said, we will not perpetuate such an idea of somebody lying Bishvua. So Bananas is the Chayra, not the master of our Mishnah. I assume Bananas is not the one who agreed to our Mishnah. It's not the end of the world. But we're just trying to say, just be aware, says the Gemara, our Mishnah does not follow the opinion of Bananas. 
Answers the Gemara, no, 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 no. Says the Gemara, no. Afilotema bananas, there's a difference. Even if you say that it is bananas, our Mishnah could follow his opinion. How come? Hossam, over there, vadai ikashvua shav. Over there, for sure, there's a liar. If they say, no mistake, we know pizza was not given to us at all. You know, it's a big thing, a pizza tray. Eh? We know, and we know for sure, there's a liar. No other way. So then banana say, hey, hold you. Don't make the nishba l'shav. Over here, over here, there's a third option. Bling. We came to aha moment. Why? Maybe both of them are right. Emu, let us say, full stop. Maybe they picked it up together. Maybe they picked it up together. Could be, which means, says Rashi, it's true the Reuven says adamantly, vehemently, I picked it up alone. And, Shim, and Shimon says, I picked it up alone. What does alone mean? They're both grabbing it now. The question was, who made it first? Everyone, said, Each one says, I'm the one who grabbed it first. And he came a few seconds later, a few minutes later. You know what? Each one only saw his half. Each one picked another, another end of the talis. It could be they both picked it up together, one, two, three, together, without realizing. Each one was engrossed in his own corner. Each one thought egocentrically of himself, right? So Reuben was sure he's the only one picking it up. But really, it could be that factually, not like their own tainas, Mishamayim Hashem saw, and we can take it as an option, they both picked it up together. Hashem can over there, you can't have. Either they ate the pizza or they didn't. Yeah, there's no, can't have the cake and eat it, as you say in English. The mainly here, even bananas would agree, you make a shvua. And by the way, that gets us to the text of the shvua. They don't say kula shali. Very good. They don't say, I am Nishba, it's all mine. Because that, you is forcing them to lie. We are very diplomatically, it's lahavdil. The Mishnah is, is phrased there, lahavdil, like a lawyer's document, very carefully. Ainli bapoches mechetzia. I don't have in it less than half which is anywhere between half and a whole thing. I really think a whole thing, but we phrase it as I don't have less than half because that's what you're going to get. Now we have a more time to it because we say, you know, maybe we and Shimon are nice guys. They're just mistaken. Each one thinks it's on his own. Really, they picked it up together. And Mimela, I only have half, is what they possibly say. In, that stems in the text. I only have half. And each one gets a half. And that's very nice, even with bananas. We're not sure we have a liar over here. And the Shavu is also phrased in a way, but there's no lie. Again, I recommend looking at Tosis. There's a very interesting Tosis over here. But we really, 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 really don't have time now. No questions for the next six minutes whatsoever. We're way behind. Leima Mestisim Deloi Kesumchus. The second, Leima Mestisim Deloi Kesumchus. Okay, we won't finish it today, but we definitely have to continue. Let me introduce to you a bit of a Chazor on Bavakama. Remember the case in Bavakama, Daphne and Vov? Famous Mishnah. About before we continue the next time of Masnistin, yeah. <sighs> what happens if a shore, a bull gored a cow, a pregnant cow, and we saw that the cow also has a dead a baby next to it? I mean, a dead baby cow, a dead calf, newborn calf next to the cow, okay? And then we don't know whether when he gored it, the cow was pregnant and he killed the baby, or he gored the cow and then the baby died by himself. Let's say we don't know, we don't see wounds about the baby. We don't know. There's no way to know whether the shore gored the baby cow or didn't. That's it. That, that's the Maisa. So what do you say over there? So now, Masnissin says over there, the Mishnah says, like, Sumchus, Yechloiku. They should split half-half. Let's say that baby cow was worth, what, a thousand? He only gets half, which is 250. Yeah? Yeah? The calf is worth a thousand, and that's why the shore that only has to pay half pays 250, which is half of a thousand. Why am I saying 250? Because the shore is done. Okay. Very good. Because it's a short time, it's supposed to be 500, so it gets to 50. That's what Sumchus says. Sumchus believes very much in splitting. Sumchus is in favor of always, not always, many times splitting the money. I don't know if the cow gored, if the, 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 the show gored didn't gore. What do you do? You, we go half, half. We go half, half. Say Chachomim. Chachomim, no way. Chachamim say, what did we all learn? No, oh, what's the what's the famous dogma? You don't, where is the money? Where is the cash that you, Mr. Baby owner, who do you want to take to based in? The shore owner. The money you want to get is right now in the wallet, in the pocket of the pants of who? Of the shore owner, right? So you want to do bring me a proof. 
bring me Adim, bring me two witnesses that actually saw the my shore gourd your little baby cow, and then I'll begin to pay you. Now, before that, that's what Chachomim say. Sumchu says no. Sumchu says, as much as we love a Moitzim Chaveroi, Moitzim Chaveroi says Sumchu is only true if I say, Alan, you know, your watch is mine, really. I have to bring you proof. Because, oh, you're being very nice. Yeah, because Mechitesi, your watch is mine. I have no connection to the watch. I'll have to bring very strong Raya to Adim, interrogated seriously in Beisdin, your watch is mine. However, over here, it's not the case. Over here, we know something went on, right? We know for sure that it was goring. The cow died. The baby maybe died because of me, maybe not because of me. There was something that created a real doubt in reality, right? In that case, says Sumchut, I don't care that the money is lying right now in the pocket of the bull owner, and he's now sitting in bed, maybe. So what? Lamaisa, the sofek itself, but yes, goring, not goring, is the sofek of itself. Nothing to do with the location of the money. That's what Sumchu says. Chachamim say no. Chachamim say it's not going to get anything, zero, because of Matzim Chaveroi. You want to get money out of his pocket, you have to prove it good. You have to prove it well. Now back to us. That was only the background. Lema Masnisin, let us say that our Mishnah, the like Sumchus, let's assume our Mishnah, I think our Mishnah is not friendly, is not following the opinion of Sumchus. Why? Eike Sumchus, according to Sumchus, Omar. Momen, which is in doubt, Momen in question, I would say in English, Momen that's in, money in question, you split without Shvua. No, you split it. You have question about the money, and we're both involved in the money. There was goring, there was something went on. It's not someone's imagination being difficult. There was something going on, so you split half-half, meaning the baby owner will get half the money, without having to take Shavua. We don't require to go over that extra hurdle by Shavua. And, and in our Mishnah, we say, make a Shavua. No. According to Sumchus, yeah, Shavua is not in place. Yeah? You both have Tfisa over it. By the way, here it's even better. Why? Because here, and that's a tricky part, here, both parties are both the Machzik and the Moitzi. <laughs> They're both holding it and both want to take it out in Reuven's perfect world, he'll grab the whole thing out of Shimon, right? If the Dayani will tell Reuven, you're the owner, get it out of Shimon. Oh, this is a nice Dayani, right? Reuven wants to take the, half, the whole thing or half the thing from Shimon, and so does Shimon. So we're both, yeah? So now, says the Gemara, look at that. According to Sumchus, over there, what did we say? Over there, we say the money is completely, exclusively in the wallet of Mr. Bull owner, right? And I want to take it out of him, and I'm out of the picture. I'll grab it out of him legally, half of it. Here too, Koshi can over here when I'm in the parsha. I'm also a holder. Of course, I'll be able to take it without shvua. So that shvua business doesn't sit right at all with sumchus. Says the Gemara. Wait a second. The Elamai Rabbonon. Wait a second. So who do you think are 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 the? So who are the, who's the other party who's not sumchus Rabbonon? Chachomim say, even, even worse. According to Chachomim, what's Raya? Chachomim say, you have to bring Eidim. Is Moetzim Chavar of Raya is only, only be Eidim. Rashi says it here again. So Chachomim, for sure, are not the authors of our Mishnah. Why? Because according to Chachomim, over there, if the baby owner wants to prove that he should be paid in full, he should, or anything, by, by them, there's no half half. It's all or nothing. If he wants to get paid, he should bring two Aidin who stood in the cow shed and saw the bull goring, and only then they'll get it, right? And and otherwise, you don't want anything. So our Mishnah says to split half half. Our Mishnah, of course, is not Chachomim, because according to Chachomim, Shvo is not enough. You need Aidin to grab it out of someone else's hands. So our, so our Mishnah is neither Sumchus nor Chachomim. Why? Our Mishnah is in the middle of the road. According to Sumchus, you're too machmir. Why do you require Shvua? Just split it. Sumchus is into splitting. According to Chachomim, you're too mechol. Why do you split it? Bring Raya, bring Edim. Don't just do it with Shvua. By the way, I forgot to tell you, very important thing. In this stage, the Gemara thinks that Shvua is not just an extra thing like you go a code to the bank. In this stage, the Gemara thinks that Shvua is really the tool, like I always call them, the tool that gets it out of the hands of the other guy. Get it? In other words, I get my half out of his greasy hands, yeah? 
with the Shvua, I know you know the end of the Sukkot because I told it to you already, but Lemai said, at this point, the Gemara thinks the Shvua is like a mini Edim. Yeah? Edim are the big guns. You take it from some, and now we're going to see it even better. So now the question is, you require like a smaller tool called Shvua. It's better than nothing, but it's worse than Edim. Edim is always the best. That's a Rambam. It's famous. Edim is the best, 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 best tool, weapon, Raya, in Beisdin. Shvua is number two. There's Migo, there's Star, all kinds of tools in a toolbox. Edim is the nuclear bomb, is the biggest one. Frank Zikmar, hi, Mai. What are you talking about? It's a very strong question. According to Rabbonon, of course the Mishnah makes sense. And I'll tell you why. Now I'm going to beautiful long this. I'm sorry over time, but we have to go through this. Listen to this. This is nice, nice long. Possum over there, Right? Over there, one guy has the money, the other guy has, does not have the money. Very clearly, the, the dollars and the shekels are in the pocket of Mr. Bull owner. The other guy has zero, and he wants to take it, take it out. You want to get it, you're at a huge disadvantage of not holding one dime, nothing of the money. You need big guns. You need the riot called Adim. You need to bring two Adim who stood in the night in the cow shed and saw the real goring. Before Adim, no way, Mr. Sechachomim. If so, our Mishnah is like a smaller, lighter version of the same story. Continues the Gemara. Both of them have Tfisa. So now it's better. You say, I'm a Moitzim Chavero? Not exactly. I'm also a holder. I'm also holding something here. I'm not completely out of the picture. I'm also a shareholder, funnily enough, Ilu, in the Tfisa of the Talis. So here to get it out of his, to completely get it to be only mine, or half of it to be only mine, Havdila Beshvua. Then we have to do Shvua. Explains Rashi unbelievable. When the person is the only holder, how do I get it out of his hands? By Adim. Over here, there's no Moitzi Mechaveroi. Each one can scream at the other, you're the Moitzi. We're both equivalent, we're equal rights. Egalitarian, nice, Western, we're both equal. So the Maisa, there are two things. There's Muchzokus, and we have to get rid of this over here. Says Rashi, it's true that you are, a, let's focus on Mr. Ruben. We explain Mr. Ruben why he has to take Shua. Says Ruben holding it, I have to take Shua. I have to prove anything. I'm holding it. I'm the one holding it. Who cares about him? I'm holding. You know what, Mr. Calm down. It's true that you're holding it and it has halachic value, right? And therefore you don't have to bring Adim. Lamaisa, practically speaking, says Rashi, the Loshan of Rashi is you have to, you have to, Muchusa Govaina. Physically speaking, the other guy is yes holding it. And we don't know that he's wrong. So to be Goyve it, to take it out of his hands in a physical way, and I'll explain soon what he means, for that you need Shvua. I'll explain it to Lomdes, I'll explain it in a Balabatish example. In Lomdes it goes like this. Listen to this, it's very, very important. When a person holds onto something, there are two reasons why you cannot say, Akiva, this is my phone, and I'll have to, you know, obediently give it to you. There are two, you have to, this is very, very nice, Yeshiva Shalom, and it's important, so stay with me. One level is, it's a proof. If I came to it every day with, with this to Koylel, yeah? And this is assumed to be mine, the assumption is like a legal proof. It's not as good as Eidim, but it's a Chazaka. It's a logical proof, right? Second thing is, it's a Metzias, yeah? Let's say you already shed it out in my ownership, yeah? You're not sure it's Akiva's, you're gonna bring some questions, and you maybe say, really, two years ago, it's Rasa Mishkafai, maybe I got something from you, huh? The Maisa, as long as you don't fully prove that it's yours, I have something called Tfisa, which means, which means as long as it's physically by me and you want to change the reality, you want to change the reality, you have to bring another raya. Get what I'm saying? In other words, there's logical proof and there's changing the status, which is another thing. So now we tell Shim, uh, Ruben, listen, Shim, listen, Ruben. It's true, the mitzad muchzokus, mitzad, the proof, it's true. He doesn't have proof more than yours. But Lemaisi is holding it. We saw you both holding it when you came to Basin, right? We saw you both. So reality, if you want to change reality and get all of it or some of it or three quarters of it only to be yours and cut the scissors, you'll have to bring a mini raya called Shvua to mamish get it out of his proven, proven, proven raya that we know that it is, you have to bring Adim. If I come with this to Koilel and you have no, and you some invent stories, you have to bring Adim that it's yours. Big guns called Adim because you don't have the phone and I hold the phone. I'll give the phone if you brought Adim that it's yours. 
In this case, when we don't have muchzokus, but we have tfisa, we have a physical reality of tfisa, as far as we know, why should we change existing matzav? What's the halacha if a woman is maybe divorced or not divorced? What is she? Not divorced, because we, le- we like to keep status quo in halacha. So the status quo is you both holding it. To change that and do the collection, to collect it from his hands, for that you need shvua. And then we'll, when then we'll split that. And that's why chachamim are good. When it comes to a real, real gun, we use edim. When you did a smaller gun, to just change the small reality in front of us, for that shvua is enough. I have another example. We'll just finish with the question. But if you follow sumchus, we're just going to sharpen the question. Sumchus doesn't be, begin to belong to our Mishnah. Ashta, umahosam, deloi tafsi, tarabai cholki miloi shvua. Over there, one guy who has nothing to do with the money. Why? Because the money is not for him. He claims the goring effect that his baby cow, and he has nothing in the money, and he can take it a half, he can take half out with no shvua, without pipsing a word. And yes, he can. Here, all the more so. Here that he has tfisa, of course he'll be able to take half. He's, he's, a, he's a mandomer, he's a mechutzen here. And of course he'll be able to take half without shvua. So shvua and sumchus doesn't work right. Question. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Answer on Sunday. Yeah, you can either look it up, learn it, review it. We're all in suspense. See you on Sunday. I'll give you another example. I'll give you another Baptist example as you wrap things up. It's a good example. It's a good example, which may, may be Miyashi with more in your mind. Let's say there's a dispute, fun, <laughs> uh, science fiction, dispute about a bank account. Ah, uh, the name is similar. We don't know who is the bank account. You know, millionaire left the bank account and the, the dispute, it's mine, it's yours. There's big questions about who's the owner of the bank account, okay? Let's say, so that dispute is, let's say we're both muhzik in the account, or there's big chances, yeah, I'm the owner, you're the owner of the account, or both of us together, big, okay. Let's say, Baruch Hashem, that's real question of muhzik. I'm muhzik in the account, and so are you. Let's say we sorted out that it's mine and not yours. You know what? I come home ah, with a computer or the phone, and I want to access the bank account. What do they tell me? Put in the code. In other words, even if we know, right? And let's say they want extra verification because it was a question, yeah? Or the bank has questions. In other words, even if we don't have a real, real question who's the owner, the mice, you have to go over an extra hurdle to prove that it's yours. And that's what we call over here the Shavua. Even if we say that the Muchzokus, that the, the, the Muchzokus actually evened out each other, Lemaisi, it's still in his hands. Lemaisi, you can't take it out of his physical hands or get the money out of the computer or whatever, the ITM, without the code. You still have to do the second step called Shua. Be Nishba, because you are trying to get it out of his hands. It's also your hands. Oh, it's also your hands, but also his. And you know what? You'll also have to make Shua. Yeah? So to get that second stage, for that, you need Shua. To actually to do the makhe patish and actually get it out of his hands. And that's what Fih makes a lot of sense with each word. That's not the maskana, by the way, but that's what we're holding now. Thank you very much. And, ah, it's tiny, it's 9.30 maybe. 9.30 is good? Yeah, 9.30. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Slavos. Sumchus is in a big stock right now. Sumchus seems to be not the one of our Mishnah. Sumchus is for sure not going well with our Mishnah at this point, why? Because says Sumchus like this. Sumchus, even if one holds it and the other one doesn't hold it, we still say they can split half half because he's a mechutan. Of course, there was goring, cow, shore, and all that. Here, for sure, Sumchus should have said that they split without Shvua because he's a mandoma. Sumchus does believe in all these uh, red tapes, so to speak. Sumchus is easier to split, even if I'm not a mandoma in the story. Kosherkin, if I'm holding it, I'm absolutely equal to him. For sure, we don't have to do Shavua. The moment we think the mission is not with Sumchus, we'll be a long way at the end. We'll say the mission is with Sumchus, but that we still have a few twists and turns on Sunday. Mirza Hashem, the shear is over. Thank